Hi there and welcome back. Nine News tonight. If you've been meaning to improve your self care routine, an upcoming event in the Capital Region wants to help you. The Self Care Con will have information about uh, expert speakers, exhibits, information, hands on activities to help you live the best life. And the CEO and founder of Sistars of Empowerment, Nadia Francois, is with us. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Uh, it is. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. And you've got bling everywhere, even on your <laughs> tennis shoes. And we said, uh, our director told me not to make you sling your leg up on top of the table. Okay, but, thank uh, you for but that. But you are blinged out. <laughs> I am. <laughs> you have an event coming up. And I want to talk about uh, the organization. But let's go ahead, because I always run long and forget to do the event. Okay. Uh, a week from Saturday at yes. the library downtown. 10 to 2. Yes. What is that uh, event? So Self Care Con is our beauty, health, and wellness symposium where we are helping women learn to imp imp uh, excuse me, implement self-care into their daily routines. A lot of times we go through life with all of our uh, responsibilities and different hats that we wear and we do not prioritize self-care meaning our health our wellness and we wait until something happens before we check on ourselves and prioritize that so we want to empower women to implement self-care into their daily life you hide it. Y'all hide it well. I mean, the guys. When something's going on with us, you know it. Yeah. <coughs> something's going with, along with y'all. You don't know it. You don't know because we are experts at not looking like what we are going through. But we have to put a curve on that because now, with more and more things that are harming our health, we need to be proactive in that area. Pardon me. <coughs> now you touched a. Uh, you touched a little special part in my heart because when we were talking in the green room, I'm the oldest of four. Mm -hmm. Dad left when I was 13. My mother raised us as a single mom. You're a single mom with four kids. Yes. That is tough because my mother, and I'm sure you do the same thing, sheltered us and hid us from so many things. One night she came in and made a big deal into how fun we were going to have. Uh, we're gonna, tonight for dinner we're going to do bread. I'm going to let you put butter on it and some sugar mm -hmm. and a glass of milk. And we thought we were getting a treat. Mm -hmm. That's all she had. Yes. Yes. And we go through that often. But as I stated, we are experts at look, not looking like what we've been through or what we're going through. And so as a single mother that raised my kids are grown now, thank God. Um, but I went through a lot during that, a lot of stress, a lot of things that harm my health. And before I could get a hold of myself, I was ill. And so coming out of that illness, it brought me to bringing this information to other women so that they can be proactive in their wellness and their health and especially mental health. We don't think about mental health as you know deeply as we should when it comes to raising our children, being whole, being healthy, being able to think clearly and focus on some of the important things that we need to focus on because we're so busy moving, doing, and trying to make things happen. She's such a sweet soul. <laughs> and I love her story. We can't, don't have time to get into it, but it started, you're a beautician. Mm -hmm. It started in her, uh, her beauty shop uh, and, and the network grew, little meetings in the beauty shop with the ladies talking, yes. sharing, uh, supporting each other, crying on each other's shoulders. Yes. And that was 10 years ago. 10 years ago. 10 years ago. S we started Sistars. Sistars of empowerment. S-I-S-T-A-R-S because of your uh, Eastern, Star. Eastern Star and so was a lot of our founding members. That is so. Nadia, will you come back? I sure will. Nadia, friends, why well, good luck with the event. It's the 27th, a week from Saturday, 10 to 2 at the library downtown on the fourth floor. Yes, free event. Absolutely free, Steve.